What's up everyone? I'm Bill. I'm with Cali Moto TV, also with Cali Track Days, and we are back in the garage today, and today we are getting our 2015 BMW S1000RR prepped for our May 20th track day. Now, what you guys, what the biggest hang up at our track days and any track days typically is, is bike tech. People not having their bike prepped properly for bike tech. It's very, very simple. It's not a lot of work to get it done. So I'm gonna basically bike prep this for you guys. Um, but if you're not familiar or you're not sure, Cali Track Days, we always send you guys a, hey, welcome, see you guys in a few days email. And on there, it talks about everything you need. Today, I'm gonna go through everything you need to make sure that you're prepped properly for the bike, uh, your track day. So you don't need much. Um, I've got some blue painter's tape. I've got some duct tape, razor blade. You'll understand what this is for. Um, I've got my 10 millimeter for my mirrors to take off and I've got a couple zip ties. So we're gonna walk through everything we need to do. So let's start with the duct tape. The duct tape is pretty simple. You're gonna take a small piece of duct tape. You're gonna find your wheel weight and just simply take a piece of duct tape and put it right over your wheel weights. That's all you're gonna do, right over your wheel weights and just make sure that they are nice and tape down um, front and rear. Make sure you get both of them. This is probably the biggest hang up. Wheel weight taped. Please tape your wheel weights. It's gonna make it much faster, okay? Next thing we have to do is for our headlights and taillights. Now understand, um, there's kind of an old school myth that you always have to tape off your headlamps and taillamps. You don't have to if there are no lights. If you're able to unplug them, you don't have to take them off. But I'll reach over here and plug it in. If there's any light showing, forward or backwards, the lights must be taped off. It's simply for a light and not for a protection. Now, if you are on an older motorcycle that you do have glass front lenses, then they do have to be taped off. But if they are plastic, you're fine, okay? So I'm gonna show you my quick method of how to tape them off and how to make them look good. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and grab some uh, blue painter's tape and we're just gonna tape straight over the lamp. Okay, go right over the fairing, cut it off, go over the fairing, over the light, cut it off, and just do a good couple strips of tape. I like the painter's tape that I like is the extra wide stuff, FYI. Now, if you do have a bright light on there, tape it off. Take a couple strips of the duct tape and put it over the lamp on the blue part of the tape, okay? This way, you're not sticking the duct tape to the lens, okay? Because that's gonna be, oh, so, that's gonna be one of your bigger problems, okay? Now, if you do this, and you decide you don't like the way that that looks, okay? You can go back over with blue painter's tape, okay? Or if you can find different colored painter's tape. What I used to do back in the day, before I knew better, um, I actually used to take them off and then I would, I would peel it off and paint it black, made it, made it kind of look nice. So the razor blade, I like the little kind of pencil styles. And what I do is I just run straight around in between the lamp. I just run straight around with the, uh, the razor blade. And what it's going to do, let's see, I like to get a good crease on it and down to the point. So what it's going to do is it's going to give you a nice clean setup for your peel. So when you peel this off, it kind of looks better, you know, I'm, Look, I'm about looking good. So I know some people, they'll throw on some duct tape and they'll be like, or they'll throw on some painter's tape and they'll be like, hey, I'm good with this, right? Um, and that's fine. 
it's it's your your own preference really so if you want to um, you know if you want to go all out like I like I used to and really prep it nice then you can do so okay so now you're nice and taped up and you can tuck in all the extras and away we go to the other side now again remember 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 if there is no light showing if you can unplug them like I can do you don't have to tape it off okay but if we're going to tape it off go ahead and lay it on you just want to make sure that we've got no light showing um, if your blinkers do not turn on um, as like a uh, as like a parking light then you don't have to take them off um, but just be cautious you're not using them out there so um, so just be cautious with that so we're gonna go ahead and get that nice and taped and then you know again I mean what side looks better right I mean this looks better it only takes a quick second to get in here and run this through um, a little it was a little harder with the uh, with the duct tape under there so if you've got you know if you are doing the duct tape method um, you know understand it'll probably take you uh, just a tad longer to get that sorted out and cut through and off we peel bird is going crazy in there I built him, built him an outdoor aviary and he's been outside all day he's been enjoying that um, alright guys that's it your headlights are taped up now for mirrors 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 uh, we do at Cali Track Days all of our uh, um, staff do basically follow all of the bike prep rules that you guys follow. The only exception is we are allowed to use mirrors. Now clearly we want to be able to use mirrors to be able to look behind us because as staff we are the only people that can look behind us. But for you guys on my BMW super super simple 10 millimeter this pulls off the mirror so um, this way we don't have to tape them up this way we don't have to um, we don't have to uh, uh, fold them in but if you are unable to remove your mirrors you do you must you must tape your mirrors and you must also fold them in it is a requirement to do both okay so make sure you've got them both but um, I am lucky enough to have a 10 millimeter bolt right behind there my jigsaw was the same way and off comes the mirror remove your mirrors makes it nice and easy now with the mirrors removed you've got your fairing is going to flop around okay i'm not sure hopefully you guys can see that so i just simply take a zip tie and run a zip tie around the fairing and now it's not going to flop around trim it and you're good to go okay so now we've got our mirrors removed now you can't get to the mirrors that's fine take some blue painters tape super super simple again now you can do the same method that I used with the uh, with the uh, uh, the razor blade but we're gonna fully tape off the mirrors so what I've done is just grab some blue painters tape and we're gonna go in for one for two and there we go I personally now when I did track days back when I was a young lad when I did track days, I personally like to remove the mirrors. The reason is, is because if the mirrors aren't there, you're not constantly looking behind you. So um, I personally like to remove the mirrors. So we'll go ahead and grab our little razor and we're just simply cutting around the edge. Um, the reason why we require you to fold them in, in addition to taping them, is when they're just taped, you just see a bunch of blue. It kind of looks like sky. It's very distracting. That's why once they're taped, we want you to pull it in as well. Okay. Some people push them out, like on jixers and stuff, they push them out. So you can see it's taped. But on the 
a BMW, we're gonna pull it right in, okay? Um, so, we've gone through our headlights. We've got our headlights taped up. We've got our mirrors removed or taped and folded in. And now we're gonna move back to our taillights. And our taillight, again, same exact thing, same exact thing. Um, I just go one over, bam, okay? And bam. It's sticking very well to my to the black plastic. And what I'm doing is I'm giving me myself enough to wrap underneath that now what I'm doing is I'm actually blocking off the, the main part of the taillight. Now, again, the BMW is super, super easy because I can unplug the BMW taillight. So that's super nice. I mean, it's just, it's, it's very nice that I can do that. Um, I recommend it, it makes it nice and easy. So, uh, and there we go, and there we go, and it's folded underneath, and there you go, we've got our taillight done. Now, some advice, guys, some advice, make sure you're ready. It's so crazy when I get, I, I, I see people, they get to the track and they start to work on their bikes. Come prepare, guys, please, come prepare. Um, number one thing that we turn people away at Cali Track Days is tires. Tire wear, make sure you have enough tire that you can get through a track day. I would say almost half the wear bar, okay? The wear bar is pretty simple. It's right in, you can see them in the tire. Um, if you get to the wear bar, absolutely, just don't come to the track with them, okay? please replace your tires. Sometimes we do have, you know, some companies do have tire services, some companies don't have tire service. So um, if, if we have tire service, great, we can get you tires, but you're gonna pay a lot more for tire service at the track. Guys, get your tires done, come prepared. Now, make sure you've got fuel, make sure you're, you're, you're fully uh, prepped up with fuel. I bring a five gallon jug, but I always fill the tank in addition. Uh, we also want to make sure that our oils, our filters, and everything are nice and changed. If you change your oil before you come to the track, please make sure you run the bike around the, around the street a couple times. Make sure that there's no leak or smoke. Now, if you do get to the bike tech line and there is some smoke, we will most likely turn you away because we don't know if that smoke is fresh or old. So please wipe down your headers, make sure that there is no smoke. If it's done smoking, we'll be good, right? Um, and uh, again, tire wear, chains. Chain is a, is a big thing. Check your adjustment, right? The, the, you want about this much play between your chain, okay? You wanna be able to move it about, I believe, they, I believe they say 40 millimeters, is that right? So, because when you sit on the bike, you're gonna stretch and tighten the chain. So if you've tightened it too much without sitting on the bike, when you sit on the bike, you're gonna stretch that chain and then what's gonna end up happening is it's gonna, you could possibly throw the chain. So we wanna make sure that that's all done. Um, make sure everything is nice and tight. Make sure there's nothing loose. Make sure your fairings aren't flapping around. It's really, really simple to get your bike prepped. Now, remember, at Cali Track Days, we send you your email prior to uh, you guys coming out. So make sure you look at the email, make sure that we're not missing anything. Also on our website, calitrackdays.com. If you go to our FAQ page, we walk you through everything that needs to be done. We give you a list of everything that needs to be done. Tape, lights, uh, mirrors, tires, wheel weights, everything, tail lights, anything that when you turn your bike on, if there's a light showing, must be taped off or removed, okay? Um, the only thing that is required to be taped off is glass, only requirement, any freeze. A lot of people ask about antifreeze. Antifreeze, you guys are okay with antifreeze. Don't worry about draining your antifreeze and putting water wetter or anything in there. It's not required. Just make sure that there's no leaks, okay? So hopefully this video really just kind of walks you through what we do and what needs to be prepped for the bike for the track day, okay? Um, any questions, please email us at Cali Track Days, uh, info at calitrackdays.com, visit our website. We have it all up there, but please make sure that this is all done
prior to coming to the track, it's gonna make it a lot easier for you guys, and it makes it a lot easier for us. We can get everybody through much faster with Bike Tech. So uh, any questions, email us, info at calitrackdays.com. If you're not signed up for any of our events, we've got a couple of events coming up here at Button Willow, June, May, you'll probably miss the May, uh, but June, July, uh, and October. So we've got three more events, four more events coming up. So uh, make sure you check us out. We're also heading up to Thunder Hill, but this is your bike prep video. This is everything you guys have to do to get your bike nice and prepped and ready for the truck. All right. So uh, thanks for sticking around. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Smash the like button. Leave me a comment below if you have any questions. Comment below. But make sure you hit that subscribe button. Till next video, we'll see you then.